So once again, we're staying in our O2 Elevations 2D house drawing, and we're now going to start developing our elevations using construction lines in AutoCAD. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Home tab on the ribbon, and we'll go to our Layer pull-down here in the Layers panel, and we want to make sure that we're using our 2D construction layer that we set up in the previous video. So that goes to that nice green Larry colored layer that I set up in the previous video so that it stands out in the drawing area in AutoCAD. Now, as you can see, this is a 2D plan, very basic plan of a house. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate an elevation over here on the right of this wall here. Can you see the red lines that form that wall going vertically down there? So I'm going to pan across so that I've got more space in the model space to work with. And then I'm going to go up to the draw panel, click on the fly out like I did previously, and click on that pin just to pin it open. It saves me having to go into the fly out each time. And I want to develop a construction line. Now, before you start placing your construction lines, come down to your status bar, go down here to your object snaps, make sure they're on. If that little square with the green dot is gray, it means your object snaps are not on. So click on it to switch it on. So you've got a blue square with a green dot. And then click here and make sure that you've got some nominal object snaps switched on. These are the ones that I always leave switched on. Endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection, and extension. I don't switch all of them on at all times because that would probably drive you insane trying to snap to everything all at once. So I just leave those five switched on. So I'll click on the little triangle there just to close that menu. Now, remember, construction lines are infinite. So you've only got to pick a point that you want the construction line to go through. So here's where we utilize our object snaps. So I go over to the draw panel. There's construction line there. I click on construction line, like so, and come into the drawing area. Now, it's asking for a point to go through, but look at the command line. You've got a choice of horizontal, vertical, angled, bisecting, or offset. So in this case, I want a horizontal construction line. So you right click, select HOR for horizontal, and then it'll ask you to specify the through point. So there's your infinite construction line. I'm gonna zoom in now on this top right corner of the house. And can you see, I need to be able to develop the slab corner there, and then I need another one going through the actual wall corner there, like that. And then I come out a bit and pan. I go down to the bottom here as well. And again, wall corner and slab corner, like that. So I've now got the edges, if you imagine, looking in elevation, but it's on its side. So if I just press Enter now to finish and zoom out, you can see that those lines just go on forever, which is great, because what I can do now is I can now develop another vertical construction line which will allow me to do an offset from this line here. So I'm going to offset from that line there. Now what I can do is go back into the construction line command, come into the drawing, right click and offset like so. So I specify the offset distance. Now this is going to be a nominal offset distance because it's purely in plan. I'm going to say roughly speaking 5000. We're working in metric millimeters, that's five meters. And now it says select a line object. So if I hover now over that line there, specify side to offset and click, there's my vertical line, my construction line, five meters away from that slab line, that gray slab line that I selected. Enter to finish. So what I've got now is, I suppose, I guess, the top face of my slab. It doesn't have to be the slab. It could be the top face of the wall. It's a nominal construction line. Now, how high is that wall, that red wall in our plan? Well, I'm going to assume that it's five meters high. So I'm going to revisit that 5,000 offset again. So again, now I go back up to the construction line command, come into the drawing area. It's asking me to specify a point. I'm going to right click again and select offset. And it says specify offset distance, 5,000 again, and enter like so. Now the line object can be a construction line, it could be any line. If I select this line, I just specify the side, there we go, there's my 5,000. Press enter to finish, and I've now got the height of my wall, but I now need the height of my slab. Remember, this elevation at the moment is kind of upended, it's on its side. So if you imagine, we need to kind of rotate this through 90 degrees once we're done. 
So I now need to specify the slab, the slab thickness. Now that's going to be 300 millimeters deep. So again, I go back to the construction line, like so. Right click again, offset again, this time 300, and enter. And then I'm going to select this line, move to the right and click again, and there's my 300 slab. So if I now press enter and zoom in, you can see now that I can start developing all of this and tidying it all up. Now what I can do is I can, if I want to, start putting these construction lines onto the layers that I need them to go onto. I don't have to keep the construction line layer. I can actually convert these construction lines onto their own individual layers. So to give you an example, if I zoom in on this corner here, what I can start doing is I can select this construction line and I know that I want it to go on the 2D walls layer. So if I do that, it obviously changes color, hit escape to deselect, like so. If I select this construction line here, that would also end up on the 2D walls layer, like so. And I'm gonna work my way through this, developing this, and you'll see that all of a sudden, we start to have colors that are consistent with the 2D plan. Now, it's quite clever how this works because what we can do is we can then start using some of the AutoCAD tools to develop our elevation even further. But let's get these layers sorted first. So that one there, again, is gonna be walls. So I'm gonna convert that to 2D walls, like so. And again, hit Escape to deselect. So can you see now, if I zoom out, we're now starting to see an elevation. So there's my top of my wall, and there's an edge of my wall, and an edge of my wall in the red. So what we'll do now with these other construction lines, we'll put them all onto the 2D slab layer. So I'll just zoom in here, pan across, and we'll just quickly get these converted. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, we'll do them all at once. And there's our 2D slab, they go gray, hit escape to deselect. Now don't forget, we've got the one at the bottom coming off the other edge of the slab. So again, we'll convert that one there as well. And we'll set that to 2D slab as well. So when I hit escape now, just to deselect that and zoom out, can you see how we've developed, using the construction lines, a group of lines now that represent an elevation? Now, what we're going to do in the next video is tidy all of that up so that it actually looks like an elevation and not a group of horizontal and vertical lines going off into infinity in our model space.